Decades of fighting has almost wiped out the Sikh and Hindu communities in Afghanistan. Most of them fled the country and those who are left are struggling to find a place in Afghan society. Paula Slea reports. Sikhs and Hindus have been in Afghanistan for generations. But whereas once they thrived as a community, three decades of fighting has seen their numbers and influence diminish. Many of them were killed during the civil war of the 90s. Their houses, shops and properties were seized by powerful commanders and warlords. Later, under the Taliban, they were forced to wear patches, turbans or yellow veils to identify themselves. And now, President Karzai's promises of a better tomorrow for all the country's citizens also seem to be making little difference. Colwinder has only ever spent two years at school. Most days he's on the streets of Kabul, where there are plenty of other youngsters to play with who don't pick on him because of who he is. His future, like theirs, looks bleak. Every day when I was walking home from school, the children would start hitting me and ask why I put a potato on my head and how much I was selling it for. I want to go to school, I want to study, but I can't. There's too much bullying. It's impossible for me to attend class. Colwinder's parents took him and his cousins out of school more than a decade ago. They now teach them at home, but it's not easy as most are illiterate. For 15 years, our children haven't gone to school. We don't have money to send them to private schools, and we can't afford to pay teachers. After the Soviet Union collapsed, we had lots of difficulties. We're not rich, and we cannot leave the country. Otherwise, we would have done so a long time ago. Today, 100 families live here, whereas before the Civil War, there were some 3,000 most left for India, Canada, the United Kingdom, Belgium and even Russia. It's not only in education that they face problems, it's also in religion. Community life revolves around the Dharamsal temple, but the authorities insist they hold cremation ceremonies for their dead beyond the city gates. Autor Singh represents Sikhs and Hindus in government, but he's frustrated with the lack of support he's given. The government announced many times it would give us a place to burn our bodies, but so far nothing. Sometimes we have to drive six, seven hours to get to a place where we can do it. We've also been asking for the past six, seven years for land where we can build houses for the homeless in our community. But the authorities say they're doing their best, given the circumstances. To the best of our abilities, uh, we have responded to this. It means uh, we have assigned an area as per the master plan and as per the development plans of this, you know, Kabul city for the Hindus to, to do their, you know, burning of their dead and all that. But when they wanted to use the area, it was kind of blocked with some other, you know, uh, I should say other sects. President Karzai has delayed meeting with community leaders but now, with the world's attention on him and his efforts to rebuild Afghanistan, they're hoping their voice will finally be heard. Paulus Lear, RT, Kabul.